Hi, welcome to Drip and Dry, and welcome as a new employee and a new barista. Today I'm going to show you how uh, to properly use the Cure K cup machines in your new position. So the first thing that you want to do is remove the side panel and fill the reservoir to the fill line with water. Replace the cover on the tank and press the power button. This will take a few minutes to heat up. So while that's heating up, you should be grabbing the K-cup that the customer would like and get that ready and get one of our coffee mugs to put into the machine. So we want to place the coffee mug under the reservoir while we're waiting for our blue light. Add in cream, uh, excuse me, add in the sugar or uh, Splenda packets for the request of the customer. Then we simply need to take the cake up, place it in the top cylinder with the arrow up, pull the lever down, and push our cup size button on the machine. This will um, work rather quickly and the cup will fill. So uh, while we're waiting for that to complete, you could grab the creamer or the milk um, that the customer would like. In this case, it's going to be half and half. As you can see, it fills rather quickly. And when this cup is finished, the machine will auto fill so that you'll be prepared to make your next cup. So when the cylinder stops, simply pull the lever up, add the milk and cream. And there you have the simple, quick way to make a uh, coffee using the K-Cups. Uh, we're now going to talk about how to clean the Keurig machine at the end of your shift here at Drip and Dry. So at the end of the shift, the first thing that we want to do is power off the machine. We want to remove the cover from the reservoir. Remove the reservoir. Empty the remaining water and rinse. Re replace the reservoir on the machine. Replace the cover. We also want to remove the lower trap. And you need to rinse and clean and wipe down this with a cleaning product. You also want to take a damp cloth with some soapy water and clean the inside reservoir here. Make sure that the machine is fully cleaned, powered off for the evening. Every three days you want to run a solution of vinegar and water through the reservoir for a full cycle in order to remove any um, calcium or lime buildup that may be in the machine. So we want to make sure that we do this nightly in order to keep the machine clean and clear of uh, the possibility of anything getting in there that would interfere with the flow of the coffee. I hope that helps you. Thank you.